She's track. <laughs> I'm sure it's all over that. 85 is quite a landmark, to say the least. I was trying to think of what the next 85 would be. We're all filled to be here, Mom. Happy birthday. Thank 85 you. years. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't get a chance to say something to my dad's funeral. One is, I'm not going to miss it tonight. I don't want to miss this opportunity. You know what? We don't know. My mother is the most amazing woman I've ever met and I've ever known, except for my wife, perhaps, perhaps my sisters. Oh, you're hedging it too much. 85 years old, you just redefined age to us. I'm amazed. I'm just amazed. I've always been amazed. I've always been proud and so blessed to have you as my mother. I know you go by mother. I'm always going to call you mom. She calls herself mother. I don't know why. Yeah. <laughs> but for all, the for all the women in this room, you're the role model. Well, I have something new to say today. <laughs> I've decided that you can tell a lot about someone by what they like to cook. Doris, um, I think many people in the room can agree that some of her signature dishes. And what all of those say to me is um, comfort and love. Um, that's who she is. She wants to be there. She wants to comfort you. She wants to bring comfort to people, to be your friend. Her laugh Just two quick thoughts. I, I think you've taught certainly your older in-laws uh, how to eat with really. Uh, and you're the only person I know who got breath to sweat. <laughs> On the phone, that was our first conversation, on the phone, long distance from Chicago to Florida. And we had, believe it or not, quite a conversation. First, you taught your children. They're all well-spoken. <laughs> they certainly have a great deal to say. Very strong opinions. <laughs> I think it's, it's very good. And what's interesting, I think the gene has been carried on to my own children. Because, you know, I'm very shy and I... Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I look a bit mother. She's a hitting five. Like, oh my God. My my friends' parents are, if they're alive, but they're demise, not good. And I'm like, my mom's like, they're just hanging around with chalk and traveling the world and she's got a group of friends. And like, oh my goodness. I was like, and, and you know what? Look at the grandchildren. They never. They never fail to show up. I think that is such a and with jackets on. They know better. You know, seriously, mother. I mean, you are my idol. You really oh, are my idol. I love you. I love you too. But you know what? I'm so grateful. I'm the most grateful woman in the world. This is my mother. My turn. All right, Mom, I was thinking what to say. <laughs> Mom's favorite's getting up. Thank you. Uh, I was thinking about what to say. I was thinking about uh, you as a mother. Okay, so uh, I want to thank you, frankly, for 52 years, which is hard to say, uh, of the love that you gave. Okay? You give love and support and encouragement all our lives for all of us, which is very unique and a unique role that only mothers really would play. And it's indispensable, I think, for people's personalities and how they feel about themselves and how they go out through the world and who they marry and their children and all that is actually instilled from, I think, the mother. Um, Dad has many other great issues, but that was not one of his issues. So <laughs> now, <laughs> but, but we're at those two All right. So if you don't have it, there's no substitute for it. There's no replacement for it. That's right. It really comes from, from you, Mom. You gave it to all of us, so we thank you. I also have to thank you, um, frankly, for being Catholic. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no abortions, okay? <laughs> You're number seven. You, it's a dangerous world out there. <laughs> so, for the past year, for the most part of the one or two children, number seven is a really tough thing. <laughs> you might notice that. There won't be any speeches from my older or my younger brother. No speeches from younger sisters. At some point they figured it out, but I got in on the wire. So thank you very much. I love Grandchildren, the whole rest. Everything. So you're a lucky person. I think we're lucky to have you.
Well, you're very much loved. And because of you, we all feel very much loved. Oh, yeah. Thank you. And you threw my jacket out in the winter, okay. <laughs>